Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Into the Dark Room, and this video is going to show you a little bit about our new Rana blog site template. And the first thing I want to show you in this template is the very top header. It's got a new feature that we, uh, for the first time, implemented where you can click and drag and slide across these header images, and it functions very similar to how it will function on an iPad or an iPhone. So if you are on an iPad, you just take your finger and you slide it right across, and it works the same way on the desktop. So it's a consistent experience. I think a lot of you are going to like playing around with this, and uh, I think your iPads are going to get dirty with fingerprints. So go ahead and play with that on both the iPad and your desktop, and I think you're going to like it. So let's go ahead and move on down to the next portion of this home page where you have all your social media icons. Uh, if you put your social media links in the back end of your WordPress blog, it'll go ahead and populate the icons. If you don't have all of these, it'll populate just the ones that you use so people can quickly find you on any of your social medias. We went ahead and put those uh, closer to the top. A lot of you have been asking for that, so we went ahead and did that. You have the welcome area, which allows you to put in some welcome text. Um, and then we went ahead and gave you some options right below the welcome text where you could have a Twitter feed, you can have an Instagram feed, you can have a feed of your recent posts, and then you also have the ability to put in links to different pages um, or, or different uh, areas of, of whatever you're doing on the web. So your website, um, if you have another blog, if you have, uh, if you want to get people over to your Facebook uh, or something like that, you can go ahead and do that. So internal and external links can be here. You can choose to use any of these three um, or none of, or any of these four or none of these four. Um, so you can kind of mix and match as you go and decide what it is that you use. Uh, a lot of people love that we have this Instagram feed in one of our other blog sites, so we brought it back into this template. Um, and on each of these, you can determine how many you're actually seeing. So right now, we've set this to have four. We've set the, the recent post to have six. Um, so if you only use Instagram, you can actually fill this area up with Instagram feeds. And then the footer has, uh, in the back end, we use the, the widgets, so you can go ahead and add uh, different components here. So right now, we have links, and we have a block of text, and, and so on. And then we have your um, search bar here, as always. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to the blog post, but before I do that, these blog posts will take you directly to that blog post. So these are my most recent links, and it's going to take me directly to the blog post. You're going to see here that um, it has everything that you know your normal blog post has. It has your title, it has your dates, um, your text, your images. Um, you can use our blog show product in here. It also has your social media like buttons. Uh, and we have our Facebook comments activated. So you can go ahead and use Facebook comments if you like. You can use the WordPress comments, either one. Um, and it also has a sidebar here that you can use your widgets and you can add items to your sidebar. Um, so that is the blog post layout. But if we were to click to actually go to the blog, um, we've laid it out in a way that displays the blog post like this and then you get to click to read more. So we have all the blog posts, and it's nice because people kind of get to see more blog posts in a smaller space um, and get a snapshot of, of what your most recent blog posts are. And then if they want to read more, they would click, and this will actually take you back to where we were before, um, so that, that individual blog post. So um, I mentioned the blog show that you can use it in here. I'm going to go ahead and go to our portfolio page where we actually use blog show. And for those of you that aren't familiar with blog show, it's, it's going to... Uh, be beneficial in a couple of ways. And the first way is that you can use it and it'll look like this um, in your blog post. Um, so you can have it look like this where you create a slideshow in your blog post and it actually saves quite a bit of bandwidth for your end user that's looking at your blog. Uh, you can have it so that it displays thumbnails, you can have it so that it doesn't display thumbnails, and you can have it so that it doesn't present in a slideshow format at all. So if you want to just use it to bulk upload images in that normal stacked formation of a blog, um, you can do that and it'll save you some time there. But a lot of our clients use it in their portfolio pages. So you can create portfolio pages here. And if I go ahead and I um, go to a different one of these, I'll go to another one. Um, you'll see our blog show um, here without thumbnails. And so we just have these click through arrows that so you can view. So you can, you can put the thumbnails in, you can take them out, you can make it as clean uh, as you like. So. Um, so that is uh, how we integrate Blog Show into here, and it has um, all our other basics that you have with uh, a WordPress blog. But I'd like to just really quickly go into the back end of WordPress and click on the ITDR admin. And I'm going to go to the design tab here. So in this drop down, I'm in the design tab. And I just want to show you that you have all these options here for the colors. And I'm going to go over this in another video. 
but you have um, all these options that, that you can use to change like the header uh, color, the background colors, um, all the different all the different things here you can you know put in your logos um, and things like that. So you do have this area in the back end for um, your design panel to set it up. And, and again, it's, it's really quick. It's, it's not about changing out the layout or anything like that. It's about quickly branding yourself, quickly branding your blog site so that you can be up and blogging really quick. So layout's done, it looks really good. We just need you to go and put your logo, your colors, um, and things like that. So I hope that was informative. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us through support.intothedarkroom.com. And thanks so much for listening.